you know, it's funny because you did text me earlier. We we're talking about different, be- like, we we're talking about how great it would be for, oh, shit, my ankle. How great rap would be if, oh, how great it would be for rap if Drake and Eminem went at it. First off, it'd be no competition. Eminem would destroy his ass. Correct. He would destroy him. I don't care what anybody says. Do you think and think something different? Drake does not have Eminem's bars. But we're talking about a different song. If you don't believe it, go listen to Go to Sleep and think that Drake can really fuck with Eminem. He really can't. But um, yeah, we're talking about it and definitely should have processed that the theme of this week was. Just listen to be... any of the Armageddon. Oh my gosh. Like it's <laughs> mixtapes. I mean it the the he listen. Eminem and 50 Cent ended Ja Rule's career. Destroyed Murder, Inc. Correct. Uh, what is What is Everlast doing right now? Nothing. Like, even Mariah Carey's not even doing anything. <laughs> like, like, real shit. Like, Eminem is destroyed. Eminem destroys careers. Like, you cannot tell me that there's anybody. And now Champagne Poppy wants to get involved? He would get destroyed because. And that's why it's not going to happen. It's not. Only if. He said he had bars for him, though. M has to start it. it see, all. I want M. To, he won't do it. I want him to do it. He won't do it. I want him to. All I want Eminem to do is to acknowledge it. All he has to do is come out and say is, Drake doesn't want it with me. If he does that, then Drake will drop it. And then if Drake drops it, then Eminem would slaughter his ass. Slaughterhouse. Would, yeah, exactly. <laughs> slaughter him. Slaughter I'll start with Budden. Yeah, but if you listen to Joe Budden's, like, his beef that he had with them, I know I'm screaming, but if you listen to Joe Budden's beef, I mean, his beef tracks that he had, like, he was getting at Drake, and Drake is like, I don't... Drake is not responding. Like that's what he does. Yeah, like you want to respond to Meek Mill, but you won't respond to Joe Budden. Right. It's and that was stupid. the softest thing ever. Yeah. Meek Mill just didn't respond, and then the Twitter memes won it for Drake. Right. And then Drake made a song, which he fuck- acknowledged on yeah. SNL. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like it's 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 just whack as fuck to me. I mean, it's whack. Listen, there's Joe Joe Budden does not need Eminem. That's just why Eminem's not jumping into it. Slaughterhouse is not jumping into it because they're all independent of each other, so they don't need to. Right. But if Drake really wants, and Drake doesn't have a squad, but if Drake really wants, he's got Eminem, his Ghost Riders, bro. I don't care. He's got his squad. Of I don't Ghost care Riders. what Quit Miller does. Like, there's no no one in the rap game right now is messing with Eminem. They don't call him the rap god for nothing. Very true. <laughs> Mic dropped. <laughs> is that I just wish it would. It's not. But this is one of those things like I wish in my lifetime this would happen. I would I wish too. Because it would make my life better. Some way or another it's going to yeah, make my life better. It would. You know, 2003 I think was the last really good. Like 2003 to 2005 I think is mm-hmm. when the Murder, Inc. No, I was actually earlier than that. Up to like maybe 2006 or seven or something like that. But that was like the last real, real good beef that we had with Shady Aftermath. That's when hip hop's always been at its best. Now, we don't need to go to the extremes of Big and Pac and have people dying. Yeah. But yeah. it doesn't have to get to that. brought out the best in people. It was literally. That's too- what you wanted because you knew someone had to come out yep. better than the other person. Yep. And once that track was released, the next guy had to come out better than that. You, and it was pure competition. I was never a Jaw Rule fan. My little brother was a Jaw Rule fan, but I was never a Jaw Rule fan. You know, I, I went, I, I went and bought blood in my eye because I wanted to hear what his response was. Yeah, and it was, it was whack. It was terrible because he came out with that. We gonna clap back. We gonna clap back. Yeah. And then New York, New York, or whatever. But that, those songs are terrible. Right. But like, I still bought it because I wanted to hear what the response was gonna be. And I, and at that time, I wasn't downloading songs illegally. So, well, downloading songs, I wasn't doing it illegally. Wink, wink. Right. But right. um. Like, it was such a really good beat because it was two teams being pit, pinned against each other and actually t- utilizing their rap talent versus just being a beat that their beats and ad-libs that was writing the whole right. entire song. So it's something that I feel like rap needs right now to kind of bring the lyricism Dude, out of it. games 300 bars. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Wow. Yeah, that was ridiculous. But, like, you have rappers now like Kodak Black and stuff like that that just don't, and Lil Yachty and Uzi Vert that, they may, I mean, they make music for the youth, and I like I like some, I don't like Lil, uh, Lil Yachty, but I like some of Lil Uzi Vert stuff. And there's some, old, so there's some, uh, some newer cast that are out now, like, uh, what is this guy's name? 21 Savage? Yeah, no, I don't like him, he's terrible. No, was, oh, well, let's get on. Okay. So, I, I like, I, I actually Curry. listened to... Torrin Savage and Metro Boomin, that album. Yeah. It's such garbage. Yeah. Like, it's, ter- it's terrible. But, the, like, Denzel Curry is a guy that... Denzel Curry and Little Dicky are two guys that are on the yeah. freshman... That are on the freshman uh, two, uh, 2016 class. 
that people should go listen to. Now Denzel Curry, Denzel Curry is more of like a uh he's more gangster rap, but like gangster south southern rap. So if you're not into that, then don't listen to him. I like it. I'm not a part of that lifestyle, but I like it. I like the way it sounds. And Little Dicky is just a lyricist that people need to respect. Like flat out. Everybody else you don't have to listen to. But that's like rap needs the beef. It needs the beef to bring it out does. people's talent. Eminem and Drake right now would just kill it. It would, I, it would in all honesty. It would get people motivated yes. again. And it would pull Drake. I think it would get Drake to it'll push him into another level lyrically. Because he, he would wants have to, be, to. Yeah, he wants to. Be, have, if it didn't. <laughs> yeah, right. Like he wants to be recognized as one of the top five rappers of all time, right? Just think the best moments that you've had in hip hop when you're mm. listening to stuff. What did it involve? Beef. Right. Beef. When Jay and, and Nas, Nas are going at it. it. Yeah, beef. When M and Benzino and M and 50 and going at you know, Jay-Z. And again, 50. Beef. I'm sorry, 50. Uh, Big E and Tupac. Every moment that you have. Yep. It's always it's always that. Yeah. And it's the competition. It's just someone getting somebody. Right. Lyrically. Yeah. And the music and the passion behind it. Right. It was real. And it's not it's not being written by beat it's literally these are my, these are my lyrics, right? And if Drake was smart, right? Because Drake is now known as a person that has reference tracks and has Quentin Miller that helps him and stuff like that. Which I'm not completely against it, but you can't be you can't be considered one of the top lyricists because of because of the <laughs> fact that you have people help you, right? So if that's the case, this would help him solidify himself. I sent you, did I did I send you the Funk Master Flex? I didn't listen to it yet. You need I, to listen. I, no, to that. hold on. I read the article actually about yeah. that whole situation before you sent me the actual audio track. He snapped. He snapped. I'm talking about snapped on Drake that and not uh that inter, that uh whatever it was like, right soliloquy that he had. But yeah, it, it's a must listen. If anybody hasn't heard it, like uh, uh, Funk Master Flex dropped some bombs about Drake. So yeah, that was a nice little. Oh, I'm hype. I'm just still I'm hanging excited. on. I'm still yeah. hanging on. Just a little bit of hope. It's gotta happen. That it's gonna happen. It's gotta happen. It's gotta happen. I mean, M's working on an album. Is he really? Yeah, he's been. Really? I love that freestyle just... he did with uh, the acapella Jeez. he did with Royce. Which one? Oh yeah, with Royce just standing there. Ugh. And that's well, that's been going on wild right now on that the yeah. interwebs because of this whole thing, right? The, the... Everyone's like telling like this is what Drake has to look forward to. <laughs> Yo, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Donardo's Dugout. You can email me at Donardo's Dugout at Yahoo.com. And also follow my direct Twitter account at The Real A Donardo. Have a great week.